Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create subsets in R. So first of all, let's take a look at a data set. We're going to use the Iris data set in this video. And if I run the, um, just display the contents of the entire data set uh, from line four, so I'm going to run line four, we can see that we have a, quite a lot of output here um, and that there are five variables and that there are 150 uh, rows of data in this uh, output here. If I just uh, run the end row command, we can see that we've got 150 rows in the data set. Now, by scrolling up and down through here, we can see that there are uh, three different species. There's Satosa first, if I can uh, pause it there. Scroll down to the middle of the output, we can see there's a species name called Versicolor. And finally, down at the end, we have a species name called Virginica. So what I'd like to be able to do is to create a, a subset out of these 150 rows. We know that 50 are Satosa, 50 are Versicolor, and 50 are Virginica. So I want to create separate data sets for those species of flower only. So to do this, uh, first of all, I need to create a new vector. So I'm going to call my first vector. I'm going to create a subset using the Satosa species only. So, so I'm going to call this Satosa iris. You can choose uh, any variable name you want here. I'm using the long names here for clarity. And the way to create a subset is to use the subset function. Now in this subset function, we need to tell it two things. The first is, what is the name of the data set that we're going to use? So the data set is iris and it's inbuilt. So all I need to do is type in iris here, and a comma, and that would pull out the iris data set. So we want to get a subset of something from this. And the species name that we want, if we look at the output in the console, the species name that we want is the Satosa. So the uh, species variable is next. So we want to uh, tell it to tell R to use the species variables here, and we're going to tell it which species we want to use. Now note that the spelling of species here matches exactly the spelling of the variable name. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, then this is not going to work for you. Then we use the double equal sign and invert the commas because the species is a piece of text and just type in Satosa. Again, the um, spelling and the upper lowercase letters must, must match uh, um, what's in your, your the actual data set itself. So uh, let's go ahead now and run that function. And we can see in our global environment over on the right hand side here that we've created a, a new uh, vector here called Satosa Iris. It has 50 observations of five variables. If I expand that, we can see that these five variables are sepal length and width, petal length and width, and the species with just Satosa in it. So if, if I am um, Satosa if I just display the contents of the Satosa Iris data set, so run line nine, in the console, you can see in my output here, I'm only getting variables with the Satosa uh, species in it. And we can see that the first 50 lines of the data set are being displayed. So Satosa species makes up the first 50 lines in the entire Iris data set. Now let's move on and create the second um, data set subset here. I'm going to use this to do the Versicolor one next. So I'm going to call this um, Versicolor Iris. Again, very long names, but it just serves to illustrate what's happening here. Subset function again. Again, the Iris data set is what is needed. And our species, again, watching out for spelling, double equal sign, Inverted commas, and this time we want to extract the versicolor. So V E R S I C O L O R. Um, so let's go ahead and run that line. And if I go to my global environment, we can see that we've created a second vector here called versicolor iris, which also has 50 observations of the five variables we've seen in the previous subset. And if I want to display this in my output, versicolor iris. Just type out the variable name or the vector name, run this line 12. We can see in our output here that uh, when we run this line of code, first of all, Iris, we are getting um, the data set showing lines 51, which is the first first of color species, all the way down to line 100. So we can see now that we've extracted uh, the species where Versicolor uh, is only. And let's complete this by doing the Virginica species. Virginica iris and assign it again using the subset function to exactly the same as we've done before. The iris data set, comma, species, 
always watch out for your spelling here. Um, very often, if a lock line of code like this doesn't work, it may well be that, that there's a letter misplaced or mistyped. Uh, Virginica is the final species here. All right, so let's create this. And we can see in our, first of all, in our global environment over here, again, we have 50 observations of five variables, same as before. This time it's just the species Virginica. Uh, and if I um, display this in the output, Virginica virus, if I run line 15 here, uh, we can see that what we're getting is in the output, we are getting um, the last 50 lines in the iris data set so from line 101 which i've highlighted in the console uh, all the way down to line 150 and as we can see in the last column here the species name is virginica so this then allows me uh, to do things with the specifically with the iris iris subsets so if for example i want to uh, get the mean of something and i want to perform a calculation on a subset only so let's cal calculate the mean of uh, the setosa Setosa iris, um, dollar sign, and sepalent. So I can so let's go and run that. And we can see that the mean of the Setosa iris sepalent is 5.006. So that's the mean of the first 50 values in the data set. If I want to do the same for the um, versicolor, iris dollar sign dollar sign, sepal bot length again, and run line 18, we can see that we are getting the mean of the versicolor subset, which is 5.9, so we can see that it's the sepal length for the versicolor flower species is, um, is larger than the uh, setosa uh, iris. And let's for completeness do the last one here, uh, virginica, dollar sign iris, virginica iris, dollar sign, Sepal length. Okay, so we're doing the sepal length on all three here. When I run this, we can see that uh, the mean value here is much bigger than the other two. So this is a handy way, for example, for us to compare the mean length of the sepals in e each of the three uh, subsets of data. And we can go on then and do um, other things. We can plot the, plot the uh, subsets against each other, uh, do other calculations such as standard deviation and variance and so on. So that's how you create subsets in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.